billion dollar mainstream brand that's respected all across every channel, every industry, and all consumers all across the globe. How many guys like that? And in order to do that, you have to cross what I call the chasm. It's actually a, a marketing term. It's, it's from a book called Crossing the Chasm, for those of you guys that you know, like to read. But a chasm, maybe you guys know what a chasm is. What's a chasm? It's a big, giant gap, right? A big, giant hole. And what you see when you understand that, you know, the network marketing space, the direct selling industry, and as it's been for the last 115 years or so, is most companies are stuck really catering to opportunists. They're stuck catering to the entrepreneurs, the people that are really looking for a home-based business. And you know, that's a lot of us in the room. How many guys in the room are entrepreneurial opportunists? You see yourselves, right? In that, and you are, that's why you're in the room. But how many guys also realize that most of America, most of North America, and most of the world is not necessarily the same mindset that you guys have sitting in the seats. Have you guys figured that one out yet? <laughs> really? That's not a news flash to all of you? <laughs> you guys are the anomaly. You're the minority, right? And a lot of companies out there, the very way they build their messaging limits themselves only to us in the room, which is the minority. Does that make sense to you guys? Yes. And that's why most companies hit a cap. There's only been 12 companies in the history of this industry that have done over a billion a year in revenue. 12. There's something like 300 new companies that start every month. You guys see what I'm talking about? 300 new companies in this industry start every month. 12 have made it past a billion. And after you start to really look up there, guys, that list gets really, 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 really short. So our goal has always been to create a message that would cross the chasm. Create a message that would go out there and relate to the average middle America, the average mainstream consumer. So people could find success in Vaisalus that weren't the anomaly, weren't the minority, right? But really bring something that everybody could participate in, everybody could find value. And how many guys think we're in the right direction so far? To cross the chasm. To go mainstream. Guys, we're so close. Where do you think we are in this leap right now? Like, I look, I look at this picture, and I think that's probably right about where we're at. Like, literally mid-air. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, watch the things that are happening every single day. The people that are joining your guys' organizations, they would never fashion themselves as an entrepreneur or a business person. But they're getting involved because of the culture, the community, the fun. They believe they can achieve some results here. All these, I'm like, I'm, I think I've turned into like a celebrity agent or something. With the amount of celebrities that we have coming through the Vaisalus organization these days. People that would never touch this industry. That are joining on 499 applications just like every other promoter because they want to be a part of a movement. All the PR that's going on. Recognizing Vaisalus, guys, we're so close to building something that really has never been done within the walls of direct sales. Really redefining those walls and creating something mainstream. Creating something what? Mainstream. Something what? Mainstream. How many guys wouldn't mind five, ten years from now walking around when Vaisalus is a complete household name, when the challenge, right, is a synonym to our community, not just in the U.S., not just in North America, but all across And you guys, obviously, next slide please, it's been working, it's been growing. I mean, we took something that was on the brink, next slide please. We took something that was on the brink, guys, of bankruptcy and the brink of failure in 2009. Think about this. Started to get traction in 2010. 
completely blew the doors off of growth in 2011. And what's scary is there's no signs of slowing down today. Matter of fact, I sit back, myself thinking, right, we look at the numbers like, the bigger we get, the more efficient the model is getting. Let me explain what that means. Guys, and a lot of times the bigger something gets, things break, you find holes, inefficiencies are exposed. It's like slamming a tidal wave against a dam and all of a sudden holes start to pop. That's normal growth. Here's what's scary. Behind the scenes, the bigger we get, the more efficient the model is getting. Every single number we study, every single metric, it's improving month after month after month after month. You guys, the miracle of Vaisalus is the model. Everybody say, aha. Aha. Uh -huh. It's crazy. We talk about mainstream. I, I was uh, flying to Philly on Friday. It was, great. Any, was anybody out there at the Philly Regional first? Pretty cool, right? First ever uh, regional event in the, uh, the Northeast. They rocked it out. I heard Montreal had a great event this past week. <laughs> but I was flying out there because I wanted to, to share some numbers with the leadership on, on Friday night and I pulled open my laptop and I was looking at the reports that you know we get on a, on a monthly basis kind of comparing the growth of the company and I was just like I'm just curious where we were a year ago and I'm looking back and I'm like wow a year ago I was opening up my Facebook page and proudly posting to the whole community, please help me welcome all 30,000 people to join the Body Bye Bye Challenge this month. A year ago. Today, we're over what? Over what? You guys, we've been over 150,000 the last three months in a row. Over 150,000. It took us, you guys, in March, we crossed our one millionth customer. It took us seven years to cross one million customers. In the last three months, we've done a half a million new people on the challenge. In the last three months, how many of you guys think that's a little bit ridiculous? A year, a year ago, a year ago, I was like, oh my gosh. 10 BMWs a day. And now since we started, we just had another qualifier. 40 minutes from now, there'll be another qualifier. 40 minutes from now, there'll be another qualifier. Every single 40 minutes, someone's qualifying for a BMW. That's insanity. One year ago, we'd have an ambassador meeting with our 100 qualified ambassadors. Now we have over five hundred qualified ambassadors and are at a pace where a new black jacket breaks. Literally guys, three people a day are qualifying the ambassador. In a year? What the heck is next year gonna look like? You guys do the what the heck is next year gonna look like? Do you realize am I the only one that sits back with numbers and just like marvels on this stuff? I'm like, wait a minute. 30,000 to 150,000, that's five times growth. What happens if we just pull that growth pace over the next 12 months? What's 150,000 times five, anybody? 750,000 people a what? Month? We went from 10 BMWs a day to one every 40 minutes? That's gonna be like a BMW, 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 BMW. BMW. I, there's not gonna be enough Facebook posts in the world to cover that many BMWs. 100 to 500 ambassadors, five times growth? What's 500 times five? 2,500 ambassadors? I think a few are in the room. Anybody out there? Yeah. And that's if we just hold the pace that we had last year. But the bigger we get, the more efficient we're getting. We're actually growing faster today than we were a year ago. The more people that come aboard the mission, the easier this becomes, the more effortless this becomes. Guys, what are those numbers gonna look like? Do any of you guys stop back at night and think about the potential of 12 months, let alone 24 months, let alone five years, let alone where by Salus will be a decade from now? How many of you guys are excited about that vision? 
So you guys, it's an exciting time. It's an exciting time to be sitting in here. You know, some of you guys, you know, you're like, wow, I wish I was at the MD experience when there were 30 people. No, you don't. <laughs> it was harder then. You're going to be saying a year from now when we have to do MD experiences in arenas. <laughs> you're like, man, I remember when there was only 1,000 people in my MD experience. <laughs> But here's what's, here's what's important, here's what I want to talk about, guys. A lot of times we find success, and all of you in the room have found success already promoting the challenge, but sometimes we really don't know why we're succeeding. Let's be honest in the room, how many of you guys are still trying to figure out how you even hit National Director? <laughs> you be honest. How many of you guys are here? How many of you guys have people in your organization that are hitting ranks so fast and it's scary because they really don't know what the heck they're doing? <laughs> Which is a good thing, right? I mean, it's a good thing. I guess I'd rather have the success and be clueless, right, than know everything and be failing. You guys follow me? <laughs> Ignorance on fire is better than knowledge on ice any day, right? <laughs> but as leaders, as soon-to-be black jackets, as the future ambassadors of the Vaisalis mission, you guys need to know why this is working. You follow me? Go to the next slide, please. This is the question that everybody keeps asking me in the industry. No joke. We're sitting around, like, every magazine, right? They go, we're on the brink of failure, and now you're at 950,000 people a month, fastest growing company in the entire direction sales industry are on pace to do a billion dollars first time that anybody's done that in 115 years. You've broken every rule and in doing so you're breaking every record. What the heck happened? <laughs> right? Let me give you guys some overarching principles. Stuff that I'm sure you know and are feeling, but it's very important you understand the priority of these as you grow your business from MD or PD or ambassador or MD on. Let's go ahead and go to the next slide. Here's the thing you have to understand. The reason our company is growing is because we managed to have the right ideas at the right time. What I mean by that is we created a strategy that aligned with the currents of today. How many of you guys would agree there's a lot of shifts going on in general? I'm talking about Vaisalis, I'm just talking about the world in general the last couple years. How many of you guys agree there's a lot of shifts going on? There's a ton. We're in such a dynamic time right now, the world as we know it is changing so rapidly. What we were fortunate to be able to do was kind of point our sail in the direction where all the winds were blowing. Does that make sense to everybody? The Vaisalis ship just started pointing the direction with all the currents, all the trends, all the winds in alignment. When I say winds or trends, what am I talking about? Simple things. Okay. Today we filter more information faster than ever, ever before. True? It's crazy. People are, are deleting, distorting, minimizing information all day long. We are bombarded with information. Whether you know it or not, we're being trained up here in our mind to delete and distort the majority of it. If we didn't do that, we'd walk around freaked out all day long about all the stuff right, that's in front of us. That's a trend. It's a shift. And if, you're, if a company hasn't tailored its message to penetrate that, to simplify, it's not going to get through. There's so many companies out there, so many brands, their messaging is not being heard because they can't break through the noise. Does that make sense to everybody? It's noise, 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 noise. you got to break through. Next slide, please, or go back, please. Back one, please. We're connected to more people than ever before. Shout out real quick, how many friends do you have on Facebook? <laughs> how many of you have? Come on, you guys all know. <laughs> I know the average person on Facebook has 500 friends. I know everybody here is probably above average. Do you guys realize we're the first company to hit momentum or motion like this post the social media boom? Do you think that has an impact, yes or no? Yes. Huge. You guys, what we have going on right now is in the middle of a time where people are more connected than they've ever been in the history of mankind. And it just so happens 
that our business grows through connections, right? The customer has always been what? 